Okay, all right, we're back at the NAVAC booth and uh, we're gonna talk about their recovery machines. They have a, a new and exciting addition to the recovery family, so go ahead. So we got a few different options for you. We got the big four cylinder for your commercial guys. This Things is a beast. <laughs> as big as it comes, this is as fast as it gets. This yeah. is the big mamma jam. Yep, and our guys, our guys use this all the time on large equipment. They love it. So, so for your commercial that's our guys, endorsement. your industrial guys, yep. this one's for you guys. Now for the guys that do kind of light commercial, residential, but kind of lean more to the light commercial, that's where this baby comes in. I'll bring it right over here so you can see at the tower. This is the one on my van currently. So, so four cylinder, you're gonna cut that baby in half and get this one. Uh -huh. Still as fast as it gets on the market. The only way to get any faster than this one is go to this one. Okay. <laughs> so LED screens, one knob purge functions, everything's flush mounted on all of these. That way if they're in your truck, you don't have to worry about them tipping around, yep. going up a ladder, tagging something, super easy. But the one that gets everybody excited for all the residential guys, is going to be the new NR7, which you're going to take this one and basically cut this one in half. Okay. And then you're going to get this one. This is the NR7. Wow. The reason this one is so nice is really the weight. It's 20 pounds. Yeah. A2L ready. Wow. The reason that we're able to get this one in such a tight package and make it as fast as its predecessors is the technology inside it. So it's got a triple stack condenser on the inside. All right, let's see inside of it. So right here, you can see the condenser. So okay. you got three rows. So oh yeah, triple three stack. Three times the cooling. Okay. You got an oil-free piston and then the oversized fan. The okay. oversized fan is so it can move all that access space that you can see in here. We didn't just jam this up. We right. got space here, space here. There's space everywhere for that air to flow. Okay, I see what you're saying. So you've actually got a lot more airflow. The way to design this, that the airflow can actually make it across everything, but most of the time it is so packed in there. Like, you're already trying to conserve space. Exactly. And so you pack it in and then airflow doesn't actually make it, so your three-stack coil's not doing its full potential. But yeah, that's plenty of room, and you still have a really small, compact unit. Small, compact unit. Like you said, it has all the room so the air can flow, so there's no reason for your tank to be heating. You don't have to go run by 7-Eleven, get that ice bucket for your job. Okay. Oil-filled gauges on the front, so that way your needle, is not when it starts vibrating, it's not gonna be jib. Yeah, yeah. Same one knob purge. Yeah. So everything just like this one. Yeah. But here, the only difference is this one's got the LED screens, this one's got the uh, liquid-filled gauges. Okay. Nice, I love it. And just the fact that it's that much smaller, like that's a huge, huge plus for residential guys or, or guys doing light, lighter work, appliance stuff. Yep. By, by far, it's gonna be the size for, so for all the guys getting ready to do a new A2L loadout, mm -hmm. this is gonna be what they want. Nice. For the recovery side. So uh, people uh, practice testing, like filling up tanks, how, how have you seen it perform? You know, I honestly- Have the tanks got hot? <laughs> no, honestly, that's, the two, I have two in the field right now working yeah non-residential a little more commercial okay that i really wanted to push them so they use these yeah. and the jobs that they do they parallel these together yeah so they got two of them running at one time they decided to take one of those off the parallel and throw an nr7 to nice. see if they saw any difference they and didn't they could see handle it wow they want the big thing was they thought they see a heat transfer difference right nothing so the heat yeah. heat transfer was fine heat transfer was fine they didn't notice anything but a little speed yeah Sure, that makes sense. So that's gonna be the big thing going in is guys hate having to recover because it's a long process. Sure. This yeah. will help that process because it's helping keeping everything cool during the process yeah. which speeds up the whole thing. Nice, I love it. That's pretty exciting. Well, um, I'm sure you've already had a lot of people come by, stop and checking it out, but uh, right. thanks for showing up, supporting what we do, supporting education. I mean, that's why you guys are here. That That's why we're doing this event. Appreciate it. and. You missing out, maybe next year you'll uh, get that ticket a little bit faster and actually join us and you can put your hands on some of this stuff. Be so. here next year. That's right. Thanks for watching. If you're willing, give this video a thumbs up and drop us a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated with all of our future videos. And as a quick reminder, HVAC School isn't just a YouTube channel. 
Dive deeper with us at our main website, hvacrschool.com. Curious for more knowledge on the go? We've got you covered. Tune into the HVAC School podcast available on all your favorite podcast apps. And while you're at it, join our thriving Facebook group. Also, don't miss out on our free mobile applications available for both iPhone and Android. We're all about community. Vortex by Tex.